Cool. Hi guys, Luffy Taylor here, and uh, yeah, welcome to another video. Um, this video, I plan to be showing um, a color study from a game called Hellblade: Sinus Sacrifice. Um, the game deals with some uh, mental health issues, and um, primarily because of that, um, I'm quite interested in picking it up uh, just to explore those themes and just to gain inspiration. Um, for when I would like to tackle some illustrations um, or stories uh, involving these themes. So yeah, um, this method of study is just one of many that I do. Um, typically speaking, with this one, this one took just under an hour, uh, just over an hour. Um, where basically, I'm, I'm, omit I'm omitting certain details um, and just going for the color color relationships. Um, yeah, alright, that's enough of me rambling. Um, I shall start the video and I'll uh, just talk you through the process. Um, again, uh, these videos are quite casual, so um, please forgive please forgive any oddities in my speech. <laughs> alright. So yeah, uh, the application I'm using is a program called Clip Studio Paint. Um, as I mentioned before, it's a really good application. Um, I'm starting to get the hang of it now as well. So um, it's not as resource heavy as Photoshop. Um, so yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Cool. So yeah, here I'm starting. I'm just blocking down the basic colors of the background. Um, I tend to, for, for painting like this, for an image like this, sorry, um, I tend to work from the background to the foreground, um, just to kind of establish this, the basic tones, the kind of colour. Um, yeah, like when you're painting foliage, um, like trees, bushes, leaves, um, don't really tend to focus on doing the line work really. I tend to use one of this you know, impression of of each tree. So yeah. So yeah, it's more of a purple uh, leaning towards leaning towards the blue spectrum. So yeah, just throwing in some light light there. Just trying to blend it, blend it down a bit. Yeah, I also tend to um, when I start off with my paintings, um, I start with um, one hundred percent opacity. So I like to work with very solid colors. Um, it just helps to protect the wrist. I remember when I first started off doing um, digital painting, and gosh, I was just painting very intensively, and I just eventually just ruined my wrist from. A lot of uh, repetitive motions of just trying to build up my colors and it's been very delicate with trying to get the right blend and everything. Um, so, yeah, now I just tend to work with 100% opacity. And um, yeah, once I've, once I've got down the basic uh, image, then I will, um, then I'll, I'll lower my opacity so that I can start to blend more. So, yeah. Alright, let's jump ahead. Um, just a few seconds and see what else come up. Ta -da. Yep. Still blocking in here. Here I'm starting to draw the shapes. Um, so rather than just focusing on the colour, I'm now starting to kind of include certain elements that I'm seeing in there. Um, the, this bit here. Um, there isn't really any greens in this image, um, as what it may look. Oh, I'm not actually using, um, I'm not actually going to the color green to give off the appearance of green. With what I'm doing basically is, um, yellow, depending on the value that you choose for it, it can give off a green appearance. So you have your two basic yellows, you have your, um, uh, a warm and a cool yellow. So for traditional artists, um, you will have lemon yellow, which is um, 
I would say that is a cool yellow. And then you have um, your cadmium yellow medium, which is more of a warm yellow. Um, yeah, both of them, when you drop them down in value, they will give off a green appearance. And if you know your color theory, um, yellow is the complementary color to purple. So, uh, yeah, just giving it off. Okay, let's jump ahead again. Okay, still blocking out more here. Blocking different shapes. I think I'm starting to refine certain areas. Just pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. That's literally all what digital what painting really is. It's pushing and pulling values and just recognizing colors really. Um, that's why I don't really take tend to take my um my paintings for art anymore now because I know that I can just sit there and noodle away at um, these paintings to get off a very um, photo real finish um, which is never the, the goal that I set out when I do um, colour studies. It used to. Um, when I first started doing digital painting um, I would uh, try and do a very accurate rendering of the image that I was copying whereas over the years I learnt to um, basically just omit certain things that you don't care about um, when you're sitting down to do a study. Um, so for example, if I want to do um, a, uh, if I want to, again, this is an example, if I want to do a colour study, I'm just, I'd literally just start blocking in with um, with colour and just render out from there. It's kind of like sculpting, um, you just break break out the shapes from, from the big shapes, the small shapes. Um, and then, yeah, if I want to do a detailed um, study, I'd probably just omit. For example, if I wanted to do a painting of Sunua, I would um, just completely omit the background and um, I'll just focus directly on her. Um, so, yeah, it's just it's all about um, just seg segregating the things that you want to study and um, you will improve rapidly um, if you do that, I believe. Okay, just skip over here. So have a sip of my coffee. Mm. Okay, yeah, here I'm starting to kind of um, include the foliage. Again, um, it's a very simple um, it's a very simple color palette. Um, primarily purple, and then it's just dancing around up to the yellows that I mentioned. Um, uh, lemon yellow and cadmium yellow with a slight bit of red um, thrown in there as well, um, which you'll see in a bit. For the most part, this is all about the grey gradations of colour. Yeah, yeah. Do, 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 do. Okay, still more refining here. I think this is about 12 minutes. This is 12 minutes into um into the painting, I think. Hmm. So again, when you omit line art and you omit focusing on trying to make a very detailed painting, um, you just save a lot of time and you can smash out these paintings in, in no time. Uh, Yeah. Mhm. Mm okay, let's do some serious skipping ahead to see what builds up now. Mhm. Mm so now I'm starting to focus on um, the finer details. I think uh, the base, the base of the background is established. So now I'll start adding in more elements of, of the picture. There's always a reoccurring theme I find in, um, <laughs> in video games. Anything dark, you've always got hanging hanging bodies in, in forests. What, what games was that in? Was that Resident Evil 4? Um, 
Was it Last of Us? No, no, not Last of Us. Uh, what else? Witcher. Witcher. Yep, yeah, great game. Uh, yeah, plenty. Plenty of games. I think they're doing it in that new game as well. Um, that Last of Us ripoff. <laughs> uh, Days Gone, I think it is. Anyway, let's carry on speeding up. I'm going to jump ahead with... um. Let's skim it here. So yeah, now it's time to put in the highlights. Mm -hmm. yeah. And yep, yeah, as you can see over here, um, I've reduced my opacity down now so that I can start blending um, the areas. Um, it just helps to kind of um, not having to keep on uh, selecting my colors with the color wheel down here. Um, I tend to do that when I'm starting off uh, the painting. I will, I'll, I'll never color pick from um, from the actual reference image. Uh, it's okay doing that when you're starting off. Um, if you ever get stuck painting, um, just go to the image, color pick an area that you don't recognize and um, just try and commit its memory of what's happening. Um, like, I said, like I said before, um, this area here, like the greens, um, what you'll tend to find out is, uh, for example, if you were to actually select green, um, you would probably get a too saturated green um, in the painting. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work out so well. Whereas with yellow, when you darken yellow, like I, said, like I mentioned before, um, it gives off a green appearance. So you, you learn things like that from, from just doing color studies. Um, you learn certain grays, like grays have a different um, appearance. So for example, red, if you gray red, um, it gives off an appearance of purple, um, depending on what you're painting, and just the overall kind of color composition of the image. Yeah, there's plenty of that. Plenty of greys to muddle your mind. Alright, let's skip ahead. Yep, yep, there we go. So here, let's jump up a bit. So yeah, I'm starting to block in um, Sanua now. Is that, is that how you pronounce it? Yeah. Um, do, 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 do. Yep, all in one layer. Um, that's another thing as well. If you are if you paint traditionally, um, try and keep your images, try and keep your painting on one layer. Exactly like how you'll do it uh, traditionally. Um, it, what you tend to find is that actually a lot of um, your digital painting, the skills you acquire is actually transferable to when you go back to um, traditional painting. Um, but you have to be quite strict with how you paint. Um, so for example, like again, when, when I'm starting off, um, I keep it at 100% opacity and I choose my colors directly. I don't try and color pick from areas already on the canvas, I go back to the color wheel and select my colors manually and put them down. Um, and that helps with recognizing colors in real life. Um, when you're out and you're painting and you go, oh, what color is that? You know that in your head so that you know how to mix that color. You know what you know what color that it belongs to. So for example, that brown, um, its parent color is orange. So brown is just a darkened, brown is just a darkened orange. Um, so yeah, it's just things like that really basically. So you know how to mix it. Okay. So yeah, here I'm kind of modeling around, around a bit. I um I kind of did an orange um look on it first because I thought that was the kind of color I was spotting. But then later on, as I zoomed in into the image, I noticed actually um her skin tone is more red in this image, um which actually kind of um makes sense um to the to the overall color theme. The overall color theme. I can't um how would I explain it? Mm, all the colors are related basically in here. Um, so you have your purple, which is your main color, and then next to purple, you will have red, and then you have blue. Um, so you wouldn't have green next to purple. Um, it's not on the color wheel, as you can see over here. Um, it's, they're not right next to each other. Um, yeah, and then you have your yellows, which is um, the complementary color to purple. 
So it's all kind of, um, it's all related to each other. I'm sorry if that's um, quite incoherent. I can't really express my thoughts properly. <laughs> But I try. This is, this is the whole point. This is the whole point of my videos is to kind of start talking and just get used to speaking about. Um, yeah, just get my thoughts out. Really, just get my thoughts out. Get used to conveying what I mean. Okay, let's speed up here. Yep, here I zoomed in now. So I start to refine. I'm starting to refine a bit more. Um, but yeah. Why am I not moving? Have I paused it? Nope. It's still here. I think I kind of wandered off from the image for a bit. Okay. Let's... Yep, there we are. I'm back again. So yeah, again, um, I could have finished this painting in under an hour, um, but a part of me was thinking, uh, should I should I render the image more further to kind of... Um, just to show off what I can do. But I was like, nah, let me just stay true to myself. Let me just make it a colour study stick to it. So yeah, as you can see over here now, um, um, this is actually more of a reddish, it's like a red orange, I'd say, um, just a desaturated red orange, grey. So yeah, I went over it, just got rid of that colour, turn it to that one. So yeah, opacity is down again, it's just to 85. So what I'm doing is that I'm putting on certain colours and I'm picking down next to it to try and kind of blend it as well. But still, still manually selecting the colors for practice as well. So yeah, when you um when you're painting, um, think of the think of base color. Um, so in the actual image here, you'll see um. It's, there's a lot of gradation in color here, so it's, it's mainly black here on the back, and then you've got different shades of gray on each side of the, of the torso, um, and then over down here as well, it kind of gradates into like a brown, brownish color here, and on a little um, whatever the hell that is, uh, it's kind of like got a bit of brownish kind of uh, olive green in there. Um, I would just, I did. Um, do that is practically all black um, and then after that then you can go in there and touch it up with um, with the subtle changes in color okay let's speed up here okay yep let's do in our hair yep more rendering in our hair and here's where I go into and um, refine back just adding in those subtle those subtle changes when you're doing these subtle changes don't um try and keep the value the same because what you're seeing a lot of the time is a change in color but not a change in value um, so that's why sometimes what happens is that people will um they'll paint they'll see a color They'll paint it, but they've also changed the value, and the, and it just jumps out too much. It is, um, so they haven't chosen the correct value. When I say value, I mean like the grayscale of um, each color. Uh, if we go over here to the color wheel, oh, this thing's blocking away. Um, but basically speaking, um, each color kind of depending on which. Um, no, let me say that again. Each color corresponds to a given value. So when people think of yellow, they think of a very bright, vibrant, lemon yellow kind of color. And um, that is very high on the value scale. Um, it's kind of coming up close to white. Um, and then when you think of blue, people think of blue as a cerulean blue, kind of, I want to say a sky blue, because people will state that kind of blue as sky blue. But um, blue in general will be kind of like very low on value scale. Um, so yeah, so yeah, when you're doing these kind of uh, transitions, keep the value the same, but do um, do the change in color. 
Alright, let's skip ahead. Yep, I think it in the paddle. Add in the reflections. Um Yeah, just painting a mess first. Paint paint big and then go small. Um what I tend to do this, I tend to blur my vision. It's like if you're wearing um, really bad glasses and everything gets blurred. Um, it kind of omits a lot of finer details. You can do the same thing with squinting your eyes as well, but that's more for simplifi simplifying values. Um, to simplify color, I blur my vision. To simplify values, I squint. Yeah, more, more refining. Dun, 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 dun. All right, yep, and here, this is where I kind of thought, okay, let me just add in a bit more details. I was starting to get a bit vain of my skills and thinking, ah, oh, people are going to think that this is my best one. It's not my best. Um, it's just a color study, and I could noodle it into eternity if I wanted to, but it's not the point. When you get to a certain level in your art, you start to focus more on the things that really matter to you um, in your practice, um, rather than trying to be very photo real, um, which is no, which is not, which is not my intentions anymore. Um, I'm more after an understanding and a. I want the feel of an of an image. Um, so yeah. Whenever I want to refine something, I will, again, as I mentioned before, I will segregate it and do a study on it on its own. Okay, um, let's finish it there. And, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I really want to do more. Um, but if you liked it, um, let me know in the comments. Any questions at all or anything. Um, if it's been helpful for you at all, um, if you'd like to see me tackle an image, um, let me know um, in the comments and we'll try and work something out. Um, yeah, let's see if I can skip ahead to a finished um, look on the image. Yeah, I think that's where I kind of left it. Oh, maybe that already. Yeah, I Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So yeah, this is where I kind of left it. I was like, yeah, I've got what I wanted from it. Um, move on to the next one. And that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe, put a like, um, comment, send us, uh, Leave a comment it's in the comment section. All of that, all of that. <laughs> Take care.